mintable versus rareable nft comparison hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you about rareable and mintable and we're going to be comparing both of these websites and we're going to be showing you which one is better for what reasons so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into the video so the first thing that i'm going to be telling you is rareable so we'll go over rareable and then we'll go over to mintable so First things first, come over to rareable.com. This is their official website. It looks pretty cool. It's really classy, minimalistic, and looks really nice. So what I want you guys to do is just simply uh, create an account. And you can create an account by clicking on the create button over here or just simply sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create. And over here, we can sign in with MetaMask. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my MetaMask wallet. Now, if you don't have a MetaMask wallet, you can choose other MetaMask as well. So you have Taurus, Block though mobile wallet and then you have more options as well so just go ahead and simply download metamask on your browser as an extension and then just simply sign up and just you know follow these steps so now i'm gonna go ahead and click on next and click on connect rebel is connecting yes i agree i am at least 13 years old i'm quite a you know and then over here you have two options so you have single which is ethereum flow supported and then you have multiple which is only ethereum supported so choose whichever one you want let's go with single for now and then over here just simply enter in your file which is a png gif web mp4 mp3 doesn't really matter it has to be a maximum of 100 mbs so simply choose that and then you can choose a fixed price an open bid and timed auction what that basically means is that in open bid people will come over to your nft they will bid and the one person who has the highest bid will win and the timed auction will be like you will have a timed auction and people will come over here and bid different amounts and then once the timed auction is completed, once the timer has run out, the one with the highest bid will win. So it's basically just like open for bids, but you know, with a timer. And then down below you have prices. So you can change your Ethereum to WEH. You can change it to DAI, RARI, ASH, or USDC, whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter. The service fee is 2.5%. So you have to keep that in mind. And then down below you have collections as well. And then down below, you have the name, the description, and the royalties of the product that you are trying to sell. So let's go ahead and upload our NFT. So choose the image over here. And once you have chosen it, let's just keep it at a fixed price and just enter in the amount. Let's say 0.001 Ethereum. Yeah, that seems about right. And then you can create your collection or leave it like that. And then over here, you have free minting. So buyers will pay for gas fees for minting. So that is an option over here. So you don't have to pay for gas fees, but you do have to pay for the service fees, which basically is a 2.5% fee. It might not be much, but when you combine the royalty fee and then the service fee, it goes up pretty high. So just simply enter in the name of the NFT. I'm going to go with cat eyes add the description it's a cat with heart eyes and then you have royalties you can choose whichever one you want to do with that so i'm gonna keep it at 10 percent for now and once you have done that see if everything looks good everything is done simply click on create item wait a couple of seconds generating steps for mining it's uploading it's minting it will approve and it'll be put on sale so let's just see how it is and if our wallet approves it and if they you know ask for a certain amount of money because i don't have any money in my ethereum wallet as of right now so we'll see what it basically does so let's go ahead and sign it okay so the nft has been launched let's go and view the nft now this is pretty cool because a couple of months ago i tried to use rareable and i couldn't use it because they you know they asked for the gas fees so i had to pay a certain amount of fee to them before i uploaded my nft which was kind of weird why do i have to pay for my nft to be you know sold online like i'm selling my nft why do i have to pay for it to sell it like it doesn't make any sense so but i think they fixed it now and because i didn't pay any fee or whatsoever and my nft has just been uploaded which is pretty nice i would have to say so now let's go ahead and choose mintable so the mintable is exactly the same i would say that its market is a little bit less than rareable so the one with the biggest market is i think open seas and after that comes rareable and after that comes mintable so it's in the third place so mintable is exactly the same as rareable like you know uploading 
a like minting an nft but the only difference is that you have two options over here so is the item live on your blockchain or is it a new item you want to make so if it's already an nft is in your wallet then you can choose this one over here or if you want to create a new one you can go ahead and click on this button now if you do that you will have two options over here so you have traditional or glassless now what does that basically mean it means is that in traditional let me just turn off this easy mode so that you guys can understand better so gasless means that no transactions fees are needed which is pretty nuts because almost every website out there requires transactions and then over here we have traditional which includes transitions but what that basically means is that gasless you don't have to pay any fee you don't have to pay for gas neither does the customer who is buying your nft has to pay for gas it is completely free the only difference is that it won't appear in our a wallet until it is transferred or purchased but we'll still own it though it, it just won't appear in our wallet that's the only drawbacks but i guess you had to pay a certain fee anyway but uh, sometimes the gas fees can be a little bit higher, like 200 or 300 dollars, and it's not just worth it to you know pay the gas fee for a small NFT. Only the big boys can support that kind of gas money. The smaller ones like us, we don't have that kind of money. So you know, we'll take what we can get. So gasless it is. So simply choose gasless, and then the process is exactly the same. Just choose the title, add the file, add the description, and then just simply choose the amount you want to sell and then just simply click on list this item. And that is basically it. So it's pretty simple. So those are the two main differences in rare between variable and mintable. So variable used to, you know, ask for money to you know upload NFTs over onto their site, but now they don't. I think they fixed up their ad because of that i would suggest rareable because it has a bigger market uh, more creators are on it you can explore more it has you know more options of cryptocurrency you don't have to just simply sell it on ethereum it has more options of currencies and overall it's much much better now having said that that doesn't mean that mintable is not good but the only favor that mintable had going for it was that it didn't require any gas fees so i think now neither does rareable i guess they've taken that part out i mean they do require gas fees but you can choose whether you pay it or the customer pay it so it depends upon that if you want to pay it then you have to pay it if you choose the customer then the customer will have to pay the gas fee for your nft so I guess that could be a problem but you get the gist of it so overall i think it all depends upon your taste on which you think the one is better for me it's definitely rareable so having said that be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye